the gender thing. So mm. what what upsets you the most in this talk? Like what for you is the hardest mm. to listen from people who are not supportive or don't even make an effort? Mm. I think it's, there are, oh, fuck, this conversation could go so many different ways now. Um, I think the biggest, most frustrating challenge that I have is people who aren't queer wanting to keep circling around this idea of of not understanding what it is. Um, I know so many things exist in our real, whether it's science, whether it's how, how the fucking plane works that I just flew on. Um, but me not understanding it, I don't, I don't care. It's not a huge deal for me. And so when we think of kids growing up, when we bring very real statistics of suicide and, and mental health distress and abuse using violence, using drugs, using alcohol, I don't see why that isn't enough just to be like, okay, I don't understand it, but let's move on. Let's create um, healthy balances of life. Let's improve the well-being of these people. Um, and that's that's never aligned with the corridor that they have about wanting rangatahi to be our future. These political leaders insist that rangatahi are going to be our future, but at the same time won't improve their outcomes that kwe o takatapu youth are growing up in. They won't make an effort to listen. They'll actively just pick up this misinformation. Like we saw Brian Tamaki the, just a couple of days ago insist that puberty blockers were being sold at the warehouse when they're fucking not. Um, and so picking up this misinformation, I think it's, it's, it's hoha when adults insist on having conversations or wanting to keep having wānanga or learning sessions about what these identities are. Um, and they should just shut up and listen and do what the youth are asking them to do, the bare fucking minimum. When it comes to the, the, the puberty blockers and more of like the, the health mm. side of things, who do you go after to learn more? And what would you recommend the young people who are living this, this mm. situation in life? Like wh what is the, the faka papa? Like what is the corero mm. for people to seek like real legit information? Queer organizations, queer takatapu led organizations. We've got Rainbow Youth, we've got Inside Out Outline, Gender Minorities, we've got Auckland Pride, which host, uh, we got different Pride places, Dunedin Pride, Wellington Pride. Um, but queer organizations have invested the money in advisory groups learning directly from youth. Often they have like ongoing advisory groups that help guide where the organization is going. Rainbow Youth is a youth led organization, youth led membership. And they've got all these beautiful resources, whether you're a questioning, Rangatahi wanting to know more about um, how to wear a binder or how to use pronouns or what to do if you're going to a pōwhiri on a marae. There's so many resources out there. Um, and if we keep continuing to expect everyday rangatahi, like myself, like queer rangatahi, to explain their identity or how to best support them, that's all good and well. But it creates a system where you refuse to learn and you refuse to grow and you're expecting that emotional labour from the very people that have had to liberate themselves within their own houses, liberate themselves within their own families. And so, yeah, I lean on queer organisations and I work with youth. I listen to youth. It might not always be accurate. It might not be steeped in academia or what these universities, PhD students have spent so long learning about. Um, but yeah, queer organisations all the way.